Morning Live. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, she's a model, entertainer, a singer and songwriter. At best, a solid dancer who knows how to move on stage to keep her audiences captivated and an actress who is among the country's most revered. That is the Northwest born and raised, Kiebetswe Moselenyane, who is known to her fans and industry as KB. Following her recording uh, title, Find A Way, which was a testament of how versatile the artist is, KB is gearing up to host a concert at the baseline, the iconic baseline in Newtown, Johannesburg, called uh, Mamusadi and Friends, where she will be on stage with some of her favorites in her industry. And that's on the 8th of April. She's here this morning to tell us more about the concert and what we can expect. KB, how are you doing? I'm good, and you? I haven't seen you in years. How are you doing? I'm all right. Your birthday is coming up on the 8th of April. <laughs> am I allowed to give away your age or am I going to be... You can. Okay, well, you're going to be 21 <laughs> again. Talk to me about the two decades. When you've been in this industry for, wow, I mean, you're a staple. Everybody knows the name. They've seen you on screens. They've heard the music. Reflect on me quickly. Wow, it's been a long journey that started in, you know, Mahikeng with Crowder Crew. My word, I I, we haven't heard that word in a long time. <laughs> you know, I did musical theatre, African Footprint, um, and yeah, my debut album, 2002, some soapy acting, and I'm back to the music again now. How does that feel going back? Because you, you've put kind of acting on a hold a little I bit. Have, You're yes. going back to your basics. How does that feel, reconnecting with the KB that we know? It's, it's exciting because, I f you know, it's, it's been bugging me for a while. You know, I've been, I've been feeling that I haven't done enough. And, and, and a lot of my supporters as well have been on Twitter and Instagram saying, when are you coming back? So it's mm. very exciting. The industry has changed a lot. Yeah, even so the Matswako movement in where you come yeah, from has grown. A lot of things. Have, and that's exciting. So I thought, yeah. you know, maybe it's a, it's a good opportunity for me to come back and explore all the ideas I had before that I couldn't, that I couldn't experience. What were some of them? Well, just having big concerts, like it being normal for us to having awesome, spectacular mm. um, concerts, being independent, which now we, we're able to do because the industry has changed so much. So especially, it's, it's mainly those two, two aspects. So you're coming back, but you're coming back with a group of friends. It's, uh, it's a concert, <laughs> it's a reunion, whatever you want to call it. Are we going to get new music? Well, I do have a single out. It's called Find A Way. It's, uh, yeah. it's available on iTunes. Yeah. I have enough material for an album, but I think for now I'm not going to do an album. I'm just going to release singles that people can download and get to, uh, get to also explore and experience on stage. And then at a later stage, I'll probably then decide, okay, maybe I should, maybe I should do the album. I'll see how it goes. So when somebody like you that have had years uh, within the industry had loads of successes, when you leave something like acting <coughs> behind and then you pick up the, the microphone again, are you nervous? Are you talking to people and are you, are you just <laughs> excited to get back on stage? I'm excited. I've never not been nervous about singing. You okay. know, even, yeah. even the, uh, with the last performance or the last, every single time I go on, uh, I go on stage, I'm nervous just because it's so important to me and I want people to really enjoy what I'm doing. So mm. I'm always thinking it should be perfect. You know, the, I should hit the notes, I should hit the, the moves and so on and so on. Mm. So I'm never not nervous. And it's a feeling that I've, that I've come to appreciate because it says to me, you, it, this still matters to you. It's still a big deal. Which is a, a, a more difficult discipline, acting or, or singing? Or is it for you, somebody wow. that can do so, mu so much stuff, is it just performance? Ah, uh, wow. Look, with, with acting, it's, it's basically taking someone's idea and bringing it to life. It yeah. can be a little bit difficult because sometimes we don't have the same vision. Um, with singing, it's, there's, there's a danger of being um, stagnant and, and relaxing because you're the boss. You decide whether you're going to sing that mm. note or not. So I think, I think they both have their, their little kinks, you know. Yeah, their own challenges. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, so you've been in, with, uh, in studio with Ernie Smith. I have. We did a song called Wena. Um, which was written initially for my album in 2012. Well, you know, and we thought it actually works better for, for, for any. And, and I was so excited when he asked me to do it because I knew the song, but I didn't think that he would ask me to be on the track. Mm. So it's very, very exciting because I really love his music. I love mm. his passion for, for the craft as well. Okay, out of that Monswako mix, you've got people like um, Double HP and Fifi Cooper. Any potential <laughs> collaborations maybe with the Monswako um, family? Collaborations should be organic, I think. Oh yeah, I agree. So I, agree. I, I, I feel that when the time is right, uh, right now I'm very comfortable to actually just take stuff in my, uh, in my stride. Mm -hmm. 
right? Take my time, do what comes naturally. And if a collaboration comes up or anything, then, I, then I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll take it on. But for now, I'm not trying to force anything. Give me your insight because you were able to do what very few people are able to do, move away from music, yes. go into a, uh, another path, come back. What was what, you, you, you talked about the industry growing, but what have you seen over the last couple of years, not as an outsider, but as somebody who's been able to distance herself from the music scene mm -hmm. to, and to where it is now? You talked about big concerts and stuff, but what have you witnessed? I've, I've just enjoyed how much um, power the artist has now. You know, We can tell our own stories. The audiences are more, um, are more accommodating to whatever it is that we want to do which which is great i mean before there was almost like a set way of doing things you have to release an album within a certain amount of time you have to perform this way you ha you know mm. so now with social media with with the There's internet all that, that's what, so, uh, so much more freedom and an artist has a lot more ways that they can express themselves and i think that's what made the industry a little bit more attractive to me because for us it's more of a of, a f of an emotional thing than just being mm. you know uh, um boxing yourself mm. and and that's what i enjoyed a lot also companies are a lot more open to to working with us yeah. and paying them for collaborations because <laughs> before it was just about yeah. we give you the product here's our opportunity exactly okay let's quickly talk about the 8th of april at baseline what can we expect what's happening <laughs> 8th of April, I'm hosting my first ever birthday concert. Um, it's called um, April 8th with Mamusadi KB. So it's on the 8th at 8 o'clock. Please be there. I have Kendi Zamandebele on the lineup. I have Tuk Singanga, DJ Limonga featuring Tattoo. I have Tiwe, Morena BK, who haven't I mentioned? Um, Brian Temba. Yeah, And myself are going to be performing. So it's, it's really going to be exciting. Awesome. Okay, KB in studio with us. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, singer, model, actress, you name it. She's done everything. <laughs> She's got a performance on the 8th of April at Baseline with Take an Ad Break and she's going to perform for us. That's exciting. Very cool.